the new Moto America Race Series held their first official test at Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas on March 18th and 19th. Using data from the Yamaha Communication Control Unit and the Y-Track mobile app, we can closely analyze one of the fastest laps of the test on a new YZF-R1 in the Superstock 1000cc class. The 3.41 mile track at Coda has 20 turns, 11 left and 9 right, a 3 quarters of a mile long back straight, and 130 feet of elevation change with that now famous uphill run to turn 1. The R1 accelerates down the start finish straight, topping out right at 160 miles an hour in fifth gear by the first braking marker. On the brakes hard up the hill into turn 1, the second slowest turn on the track, going from 160 down to 38 miles an hour. The rider leans the bike over more than 45 degrees for the left turn, then pins the throttle full open. The YRC traction and lift control systems activate to modulate the engine power to drive the bike off the corner as fast as possible at over 1G of acceleration force headed towards turn 2. Here on a different lap that was several seconds off the pace, we can see the rider got off the throttle just as the lift system started to modulate the engine power. They probably felt the front end getting light and reacted out of reflex instead of relying on the lift system. This really hurt their drive off the corner. They were only at 93 miles an hour at the apex to turn two on the slow lap, instead of 105 miles an hour on their fastest lap. Here the R1 is banked over more than 50 degrees to the right to power through the turn two sweeper at over 100 miles an hour. The riders on the gas hard out of turn two at over 120 miles an hour headed for the turn three, four, and five combination banking the bike back and forth at over 45 degrees, over 85 to 95 miles an hour, with 0.6 Gs of side force. Turn six is a 90 mile an hour right turn. The rider leans the R1 over at more than 50 degrees through this corner. Turn seven is taking it over 80, then off the throttle and on the brakes for the 65 mile an hour left hand turn eight. The rider pulls the bike back hard to the left and accelerates through turn nine. The throttle's full open towards turn 10, accelerating to over 140 miles an hour before braking hard down to 36. Again, we see over 1G of deceleration force before the almost 180 degree hairpin turn 11, the slowest turn on the circuit. The rider cranks the throttle on full coming out of turn 11. Here again, we can see the throttle is held full open and the TCS and lift systems do their job, keeping the rear tire driving the bike forward at the maximum speed possible with the front tire just hovering above the track. The R1 was already over 112 miles an hour at this marker, compared to the off-pace lap, where again the rider rolled off the throttle as the bike started to accelerate out of the corner, so they were only 102 mile an hour at the same point, over 10 mile an hour slower. And compare the difference by the time they shifted to top gear. On the fast lap, they shifted to sixth gear at this point in the track. The speed was already at 160 at 11,794 RPM. On the slower lap, the engine speed was 350 RPM less, and the speed was only 149. The bike accelerates from just over 35 to over 175 mile an hour on this lap, headed down the long three-quarter of a mile back straight, before hitting the brakes and downshifting as the rider blips the throttle to less than 45 mile an hour for turn 12, a 90 degree plus left corner. Hard on the gas again, the YRC lift system modulating the throttle to keep the front wheel from coming up too fast up to about 100 before turn 13. Sweep through 13 and 14 in second gear. Accelerate out of the right-hand corners at over 1G of acceleration force. Snap the bike back upright and then to the left at over 90 miles an hour before braking hard, going from over 1G of acceleration to minus 1G of deceleration in less than two seconds. The rider accelerates out of the 180 degree turn 15 at 1G of acceleration force the TCS system activating, and the bike pitching backward very quickly at over 40 degrees of pitch per second, and the lift system keeping the front wheel from coming up too fast as the bike gets to over 100. The rider then bends the bike over at 50 degrees and powers through the turn 16, 17, and 18 sweeper at over 90 miles an hour, accelerating out of turn 19 up to almost 120 miles an hour towards the last corner, turn 20. Snap the throttle from close to full open coming out of turn 20. Again, the TCS and lift systems working to keep the bike accelerating strong down the start-finish straight. Over the line again to top out at 160 miles an hour. The Y-Track app also allows you to overlay two different laps, allowing direct comparison of up to five channels of data, such as gear shift points, throttle opening, brake pressure, and lean angle. The rider can see exactly where they shifted gears on each lap, when and how much they applied the brakes, and when they started to accelerate coming out of the corner. Following the position indicators on an actual map of the track, 
lets the rider determine the best braking markers and where they should start to lift the throttle in a corner. Here we can see the rider started to lift the throttle at this point in the last corner on their fast lap and how much further ahead the bike jumps compared to the slower lap.